Is your organization heading in the wrong direction? Do you feel like it can be better? Well, come on over to Helping Hand and we will help you rise from the ashes of a dwindling organization. Helping Hands will be the fuel in reigniting the passion of your members and the organization. Hello and welcome. I would like to thank you for listening to our proposal on how we can contribute on the internal and external communications of the American Sign Language Organization and apply our recommendations to your club. Hello, my name is Carolina Ochoa and I am the External Communication Director at Helping Hands. I graduated from the University of West Georgia and my role in this presentation is the introduction of our team members as well as the presenter of the external communication of the organization. This is Aaron Downey. He is our consulting advisor for Helping Hands and ha graduated from the University of Southern California. He has been with our firm for 10 years and is responsible for presenting the company background and recommendations. Next is Jenna McCray, who is our expert team consultant at Helping Hats. She graduated from the University of Texas and has been with our firm for eight years. Ms. McCray oversees the statement of needs in this presentation. This is Jessie Trejo. She is our devoted employee at Helping Hands. Ms. Trejo graduated from the University of New York and has been with our firm for nine years. Ms. Trejo will deliver the internal communication sections to all of you. This is Emily Reynolds. She graduated from the University of Pennsylvania and has been with our firm for eight years. Ms. Reynolds' role in this presentation is the conclusion and takeaway items. Next is Erin Downey, our consulting advisor, to talk about Helping Hands company background. Thanks, Carolina. Today I'm here to talk to you about the company background of Helping Hands Consulting. Helping Hands Consulting is a firm that works to improve both internal and external communications with companies, clubs, and universities that work primarily with disabled people. The company was founded in 2003, but in its origin it was not a consulting firm. It was a company that was founded by a woman who grew up with a hearing impaired brother. Initially, she wanted to bridge the gap of, of lack of communication between hearing impaired people and people that were not hearing impaired. The company gained notoriety for its fast growth and groundbreaking and innovative tactics of building relationships. Therefore, it went from a company geared towards helping out impair hearing impaired people and turned into a consulting firm that showed other companies its tactics on how to grow its membership and build relationships. Here at Helping Hands Consulting, we use our research results from our external sources to help build a plan of action to help our clients improve communication both internally and externally. By doing this, we target their weaknesses and we turn them into strengths. Our clients come to us for our innovative and groundbreaking tactics that are fact-based to improve their communication from the inside out. We treat each and every client as a priority and we strive to deliver them to the results they desire. Here at Helping Hands Consulting, we understand the importance of availability and accuracy. That's why we have made it our mission and our top priority to be available to our clients 24-7 with the most up-to-date and accurate information possible. The steps that we've taken in, into this uh, process have been the following. Keeping our website up-to-date and listing all of our contact information and having it readily available for each and every one of our clients to reach out to us. And we have not stopped there. We have also extended our reach into the social media world, keeping our social media platform updated and attended to. By that I mean our social media platform is also used for our clients to reach out to us so we can respond to their needs and criticisms. 
With that being said, we will now give it over to Jenna for the statement of need. Thank you for that excellent introduction, Erin. Uh, hello, ASL Club of West Georgia. My name is Jenna McRae, and I am the consultant brand manager at Helping Hands Consulting. When I was in elementary school, needless to say, I didn't know a whole lot about sign language. I barely knew English um, at that point, but one of my friend's moms came into school and taught us some sign language basics. She worked at a clinic helping people who were struggling with deafness, and ever since then I've wanted to help people who can only communicate using sign language. Thus, I joined Helping Hands Consulting. Throughout this part of the presentation, I'll talk to you all a little bit about the importance of communication in your community, as well as the history of, of your organization and the need for a more strategized communication for your organization. And then I'll tell you how we can help you use those strategies to improve your overall image at the University of West Georgia. Your ASL club has been the pathway for students at the University of West Georgia to learn sign language and its overall importance to the community for many years now. Um, and to introduce some of the club's leaders, they include Aaliyah Brock, who's the university advisor, Bailey Cross, who's the club president, and Emily Ferreira, who's the club vice president. And on top of the leaders, there are also 43 additional members. Even with those 43 different additional members, however, as shown by the graph, the ASL club is on the lower half of the amount of members compared to other cultural clubs at the University of West Georgia. The internal communication between the leaders and members consists of email conversations, occasional meetings, and social media posts on Instagram and Facebook. The external communication to future students is posting flyers in classroom hallways and having socials uh, once every couple holidays. That all being said, with our newfound knowledge of your organization and with our team of brilliantly trained communicators, we plan on increasing overall communication, internal and external for the club, and in doing so, creating an over, a greater overall image for your club. Helping Hands Consulting has helped so many other clubs just like your own. The ASL club at West Georgia just needs an outstanding image, one that will exceed expectations, and your club needs improvements in its external communication and internal communication with students around campus. And the need for sign language right now is becoming more and more crucial. Here at .org states, since the most recent previous survey in 2005, the number of hearing impaired people in the U.S. increased from 31.5 million to 35 million, which is a 9% increase in a period of time within 4.5% population growth. So all these efforts to increase communication will not only benefit your club, but they'll benefit the UWG community as well in their knowledge of sign language. And in summary, the ASL club has a lot to learn about internal and external communication, and our team has the skills to give you that knowledge and help you improve your communications. Thank you for your time. I can't wait to work with you. And now for our next speaker, we have Jesse Trejo presenting some information on internal communication. Thank you, Jenna. Help Enhance Consulting believes our company can make a difference in American Sign Language. If nobody finds a way to communicate, you won't have a successful company. My name is Jesse Trejo and I'm the Internal Communication Director at Helping Consulting. Help Enhance specializes on communication in American Sign Language. Our company will provide many strategies to find better ways to communicate. We want our clients to be satisfied with our internal communication service. So we use UWG, University of West Georgia, as an example to see what are their strategies they use to communicate with their students and staff. So we found out that group messaging, school websites, social media, social media, and UWG school emails are ways they use to communicate. Students and staff use emails to communicate with with on and off campus because most people are busy they don't have time to be talking in person so a good way for them are to use our emails every student use group messaging 
stay in contact with the group members. School websites has the majority of the information about school campus stuff. Social media is a good way to communicate to spread all the information about an event. We notice in our graph, if you see above, is that UWG use a lot of social media to spread all their events or anything that's going on campus. Our company researched internal communication on UWG, University of West Georgia. So we decided to compare other universities, decided to choose two universities to see what similarities they have on UWG. So we used Kennesaw State University, KSU, and Valdosta State, VSU. So we've seen that they have a lot of similarities. So the top three things that they have similarities on are social media, group messaging, and peer-to-peer. So KSU doesn't really use social media as UWG and Badasa, VSU. And we noticed that social media is a big impact on how you can get, have a big increase on the group and the club, the ways to communicate. And like if you need something, Instagram or any social media is a great way to com communicate with your Social media is a big Thing on our society today to communicate with other people. Exposure for the club is very essential. That is why they have to go above and beyond for their members and future members. It's important to use internal communication to have a big increase in members in a successful company. Communication is key to have people join the group, to increase members, to have a lot of people be interested to join American Sign Language. UWG, American Sign Language, will increase members with the help of social media. Help and Hands Consulting it's, is excited to see the increase of the interest of American Sign Language and the growth all over the world. Now that I've shared what our team has found on American Sign Language at UWG Internal Communication, I would like to introduce Carolina Ochoa to share with the external communication. Thank you, Jesse. Can anybody here show me by show of hands about the existence of the American Sign Language Organization before we proceed? Very few? Well, our firm has dived into the external communication method of your organization and found ways in which it can be developed. Communication is vital, and without any, the organization will shut down. Therefore, it is essential that all members have information available and that no form of communication goes neglected. By having the same information in all types of external communication factors, we can provide our members with equal access throughout all the platforms the organization utilizes. The American Sign Language Organization prioritizes in communicating with external members through flyers, social media, email, and face-to-face. -face. Even though flyers are the primary source of network, this type of method needs improvement by adding useful information that catches the reader's interest. We have found out that most of the communications that you guys practice are not as efficient as you think it would be. People who do look at flyers only do so for a quick minute and tend to forget about it. Therefore, social media applications like Snapchat, TikTok, and Instagram are amongst your members' favorite choice of communication next to emails. We conducted a SWOT analysis and we want you to change the way you go about communicating externally with your members. Currently, we found out that the organization lacks communication, is not utilizing all potential platforms, and is losing members to other organizations. Hence, we want you to try new fun social media applications to attract new members, increase student involvement across your networks. Next is our consulting advisor, Aaron Downey. 
with the recommendations portion of this presentation. Thank you. Once again, thank you, Carolina. And now I'm here to talk to you about the recommendations that we have for the University of West Georgia's American Sign Language Club. First of all, there's three different things that we need to look at when we look at improving a club's communication. First and foremost is the internal communication that it has with its members and people involved. Next, we need to look at the external communication, which would be non-members and even people that aren't even involved with West Georgia yet. Maybe future students, you know, high school students in Carrollton, things like that. And then last but not least, we need to look at the current students on campus and how we can get them involved. Now I want to keep it short and sweet for each one, but for the first one I would say we need to look at things like getting your members that are already involved more interested in what's going on. Um, some things like, you know, whenever you have a group meeting, making it more imperative that they're there, you know, giving them more of an incentive to come, you know, things like, you know, making the meetings more fun, you know, having prizes, things like that. Um, just making their presence feel known and important, um, you know, give, you know, have tasks that need to be accomplished. Um, you know, I went to Valdosta State at one point in my college career, and I noticed that um, in the clubs, the leadership in the clubs were the ones that were given a lot of responsibility. Um, now, I'm not saying that college students necessarily need more responsibility or more stress, but you know, people like to feel involved in things. So from my point of view, and from our point of view at Helping Hands Consulting, I would say that a tactic that we used would be to take your members and give them, you know, make them feel like their accomplishments are more valuable to the club than just the top end of the club, you know, the leaders of the club and things like that. Uh, my second recommendation, or should I say, for the second part of this, the external communication, um, I would recommend, and we at Helping Hands Consulting would recommend, that you use a stronger, or have a stronger social media presence. Um, too often do uh, clubs have the social media, but they don't really use it like they should. Um, there was a study that was done and that uh, there was a survey of 100 students on campus and over 80% of the students said that they found out about new events on campus through social media. Now looking at it through a lens, I would say that a lot of students rely on social media, especially new students, you know, uh, they don't necessarily know people, know where to go, so they use Instagram. They look through clubs' Instagrams, Twitter pages, um, even TikTok, Facebook, things like that. Um, standing out on social media for a club is very important, in our opinion. Um, it's something that's helped us grow over here at Helping Hands Consulting. Um, you know, things like that. We've gotten people to reach out that have never their words, shown interest in sign language before, and we've gotten them into our community and they are helping us now. So another thing for external communication would be things like fundraisers around the campus, uh, posting flyers, things like that, just being more assertive with your presence on the campus. Now, as far as getting students involved, I would say that the main thing would be is show that these, show these students they're important, you know? Instead of waiting for students to come to you, um, Go to them. Let them know how awesome it would be to get or to have them involved in what you have going on on the campus. Um, a lot of students are not necessarily shy, but they don't really know where to go. Uh, they don't know how to join clubs. They don't know what clubs they even want to join. So I would say back to, you know, being or as far as your external communication, same thing here. I would say be more assertive in your presence. Um, reach out to students and show that you care about the students on campus. Some students come to college and they feel like the only thing that they're there to do is go to class, but that's just not necessarily the case. Getting involved in clubs it helps students be more successful in school. Use these things to your advantage. That would, those would be our recommendations uh, here at Helping Hands Consulting. They work for us and I, we believe that they could work for you. Thank you for listening to me about and my recommendations and our recommendations 
on how to improve your internal external communications and getting students involved on campus and now we will go to miss emily with the conclusion and takeaway Thanks, Aaron. On behalf of me and my firm, we would like to thank you for attending and hearing our recommendations to help benefit the ASL club at the University of West Georgia. Most important, through good communication, both externally and internally, we can be most successful. We truly believe that enhancing the use of social media, email, and student events will help the club the most. We look forward to working with the ASL club now and in the future. Would like to give you a little something to remember our time here today. We are now passing around a goodie bag that has a bottle of hand lotion in it. We also have left our contact information below and have left a sheet of our contact information in your goodie bag. Helping Hands would like to thank you again for being here and hearing our recommendations and taking time today. And we would now like to open the floor for questions. Why should we trust your recommendations to improve our department or organization now and into the future? We believe you should trust our recommendations because we have researched them extensively and also used them in our own firm in the past and it has helped us. We also believe that our recommendations will never become outdated or unrelevant. As long as the club stays active on all of the recommendations, they will progress with them and any updates that come to them. The recommendation of social media like TikTok or Snapchat can help increase student and member involvement. The students don't really have the time to read long and boring information. They rely on short, catchy, and entertaining content to catch the attention of users. In the end, by posting regularly on these websites, we can increase awareness about the organization and bring in members that are interested in our club. The question that I'm here to answer today is how much time and or effort will be needed to put these recommendations into place. Now, when it comes to something as uh, you know intricate as internal and external communication, um, it's going to take a lot of both. Um, it's not necessarily a tedious task, but it is something that takes uh, time and effort over a long period of time. Um, you, something as far as uh, communication can't be fixed in a week. Um, Something as far as communication can't just have, you know, all effort, you know, allocated to one specific week. Um, it's something that has to be done over time. Um, you know, your company may need to go through a couple of personnel changes. Um, and it's something that you'll have to constantly go out. I mean, meetings, uh, teleconferences, all of that, you know, meetings all the way up from the stockholders to the, uh, you know, entry level employees. This is something that if you really want to work at it, uh, it's something that you have to dedicate a lot of time and effort to. Question and answer. What risks are involved if we use your recommendations? Okay, so they're, they're not going to be any bad risk. The only thing is that you have a big improvement in the club and the business. Finding a way how to communicate will help your business go up in a great increase. All around the world would love to do American Sign Language, which would make a great investment to be making on. Our team is composed of people who are expertly trained in their particular fields, and we are specifically trained to help people from sign language organizations and clubs. Also, we're going to be the team that you're working with the entire time that you work with our firm. Other firms can't guarantee either of those facts. They will most likely send you a team of random people that don't fit into your club's ideals. That was an excellent question. Thank you.